Hello and welcome to Sustainability YXE. My name is Kai and I would like to begin by acknowledging that we are on Treaty 6 territory, the homeland of the Métis. Now, last month we learned how to make plastic yarn from plastic bags and this month we are going to take that plastic yarn and turn it into a more durable plastic bag. Now to do this we are going to need a crochet hook and I like to grab um, the biggest hook that I can. It helps build the project up faster, but you can use any size hook you'd like. It also kind of depends on how thick you cut your strips um, in the last step for building up your ball. If the bigger the strips, the bigger you want your hook. Now, the stitches we're going to need to create this are a chain, and that's where we so what we start with along the top. And this is folded over and stitched together. So we are going to build one long sheet and work it together. So we're going to start with a chain and then from there it's a single crochet all the way up. And it's fairly nice because you can use the same pattern for many things. It's the same style and pattern here as it is for the handle. So we're going to start with our chain. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to create a loop for your chain to start. So what I like to do is I like to twist the yarn around my finger and my thumb like this and then we're going to have a loop where the top here is what goes back down to the ball. And we're going to reach through that hole and bring out that loop like that. And this helps us make an adjustable loop. So if we pull on the tail that goes to the ball, it'll make it smaller. And if we pull on the tail that goes, that is the start, it'll make it bigger, just like that. And that's where we pop our hook, just like that. And we'll pull on that end that goes back to the ball, like this. We should have something that is attached like this. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our chains. Now, for the chain, you want to make, um, you want to do one more chain than the amount of stitches you want your bag to be. So if you want your bag to be 20 stitches wide, you want to do 21 chains to create that foundation. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to do 20 stitches, or 20 chains to begin with. So what we do is we take the yarn over our hook like this and just pull it through. So that's one. And we're going to do it again for two, and round, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and our 21. Awesome. So from there, you should have something that looks almost like a braid, just like that. And the next thing we're going to do is our single crochet. So what we do is we go not into the first stitch chain right here, but we're gonna wanna go one over right here. So not there, but there, and we're gonna put our hook through the top loop so you have something that looks like that. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do yarn over the th hook and through. And we'll have something like this where there's two loops. And we're going to take that and do all the way through both loops. So that's one stitch like that. And then we're going to do the rest across. So we're going to have 20. So that was one. And then we're going to do two. Three. 
our foundation of our bag. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to turn. And that's basically all we're going to do is that same stitch all the way up. But what we're going to do once we reach the end is we're going to loop over and we're going to do one chain and then we're going to turn around and we're going to start over. We're going to start, we're going to go through here. We're going to go, that's one and two. Twenty, and then we're gonna do our chain and turn. But I've already got a piece that I've worked up because once you do this, you just keep going until you have the length you want. And I have one here that I started where the length is like this. So I started down here. This one's a little bit bigger. I started with my 30 chains down on the bottom, or my 31 chains, and then I had 30 stitches and I worked those up for a few rows here. And all I did was I just kept checking by folding in half to see if I had something close to the size of the bag I wanted. Now, I said that the single crochet was what you were going to need, just the single crochet and the chain. To finish this off, we are going to single crochet all the way around the edge, and then we are going to sew that together. So how we do that is we start with our project here, and we're just going to go, we finished here, we're just going to go, whoops, we're just going to go in that same spot and we're going to do another two stitches. So that's one, two, and then we're going to go down in every open spot along this down here. And we're going to do that all the way around. Okay, so we are back and I've gone ahead and I've finished the edges all the way around and I've also stitched one side together. Now I'm going to show you how to do the other side and it's fairly straightforward because we've got these stitches as we did and that's what makes putting it together a little easier. So we're going to do the same thing we did to start off our chain with is we're going to make a loop and we're going to put it on our hook and we're going to have it like this here and we're going to put that through the first little spot in here and then also go across to the one across from it there like so and then we're going to take the yarn and we're going to yarn over and through perhaps if we can there we go so then we'll have two on there and we're just going to single crochet our way down like that perfect and I'm going to take you back to our little bag here where I've done that all the way down both sides so we just single crocheted it together there and single crochet it together there. And then the last thing you need to make is your handle. And like I mentioned earlier, it's the same pattern as the bag, just a different size. So what I did here for this one is I did five stitches across. So I started with six chains, then I single crocheted five back and forth. And when I got to the end, I went, I finished it like we did with the bag. We single crocheted all the way 
around just like that. So I'm going to show you on this one how I attached it just like this. I'll show you here. So all I did was I took a needle. So I have a yarn needle. So it's just a blunt ended needle with a large eye. And all I did was I took my ball of plastic yarn and I stitched it on. So first thing was to thread the plarn through the needle and then I popped it on like that and over it like that and I just weaved it on. Now, once you've got those basic stitches down, you can play around a little bit more too. You can make the, the bags bigger, like this. This one has got a flap on it, like a messenger bag, like this. And you can do them bigger or smaller and just have fun with them.